Hi guys, this is Telemachus and I'm going to introduce you to a new tool, more like a utility actually, for quickly and easily locating web hosting and transferring resources from your file system to a victim machine during privilege escalation. And by resources, I basically mean enumeration or malware scripts and executables. I think everyone into penetration testing has somewhere in his box a nested directory structure with exploits and enumeration scripts like mimic ads and winpees and linpees and probably has set aliases to like quickly host specific directories and grab files from the victim machine using a web client like wget, url, powershell, whatever. And this is really effective, I also use it. For example, in this machine I have enoft for example for windows and I have an equivalent folder for linux. Uh, here is the structure. If I do three here, you will see I have many exploits and enumeration scripts. Something like that. And I have, I believe, in my buzzer C, a utility like an alias that is, it's, a, it's called pserve and I give it a port and uh, an interface and it will host my current directory, like prefixing everything like a URL so I can quickly grab it. Uh, but when you have a large collection of resources organized in folders and subfolders, aliases tend to not do the trick. Plus, you might be in a situation where you're not using your regular machine to have your personalized buzzer C, etc. And here's where 3w3 comes into play, and it can do a number of things. For example, it, it can host a provided root directory and every subdirectory appending a URL prefix to every file so you can locate a resource very quickly copy the URL and download it on the victim and let's see it. So the root directory I'm gonna choose is this Windows folder that we saw earlier that I have there some resources for uh, privilege escalation and stuff. And you also need to parse the interface you are interested in because the program is gonna grab the IP address of this interface to prefix everything as a URL. And let's take it from the top. We see that an HTTP server listening on port 80 started. You can change this with dash p. Here's the IP address, the equivalent IP address of this interface. This is the root directory we chose for our server with dash r. And below we see every subfolder and every file prefixed as a URL. And we can just copy whatever we want and transfer it on the victim machine. And we're gonna do this just now. Here you have at the end your server access log and let's go to this machine let's pretend my windows host is the victim machine let's open powershell it doesn't want to open why extreme situations <laughs> require extreme solutions so uh, let's do cURL for example this is what would you would do if you had a cell for example like a low privileged user on this machine, you would do probably CURL or you would do it maybe with parcel. And you would paste your the, the URL you have, you're hosting your malware, but I don't want this. I want something more cool and I'm gonna grab, I'm pretty sure Mimic is somewhere here. It's right here. You know what, actually, let's see the second feature of this tool. I press enter because if you press any key, basically this will end. And here's something cool. You can also do dash K and provide keywords. Let's say, let's pretend we were looking for Mimikaz or Rubius. And if I do this now, I have, uh, I have only files that match these keywords. You can see that it hid everything else. I have every Mimikaz that I have in this in this structure and Rubius, I have them in multiple folders also I can see where they are saved. So now I can just grab this, copy link address and go here and finish this long example and say mimicats.exe. Of course, I've turned Defender off because we would have a problem right now. And I was not in my desktop, so I will just go to my desktop and repeat this. I'm gonna save Mimikatz everywhere on this machine because I'm very secure. And here it is. And we can just run it. And here's Mimikatz, so I'm closing this. And here's another feature of this tool, something else it does uh, in the background and you should know about it. Here's the server log. This is the source code of the tool and you will see that in line 135 there's this uh, 
hide extensions, hide extensions variable list and there's some extensions that the program when it finds files like this when the tree is created and it prints everything as a URL it will just exclude it, hide it because it's very unlikely you would want to transfer these file types uh, on a victim machine when you're doing prevesc I don't think you would ever transfer a TXT or maybe but okay, unlikely also uh, PDFs, XML, uh, this, these files are, are not going to be shown to you at all also, also this variable here hides specified uh, directories. For example, I put .git because also you wouldn't, I don't believe you would like to see the contents of these directories on your web tree to choose from the files you want to transfer. And here, of course, you can edit and add or remove whatever you want. This tool supports one last utility. Uh, the HTTP server starting with 3w3 actually supports put requests, so you can use it to transfer files from the victim to your machine. And it doesn't matter where you started this server. I mean, with das r, the root path, uh, it will save everything in temp. And let's see this. So I have this file on my desktop, secret.txt, and it says, this is a secret, please subscribe. And I'm going to now transfer it to my machine. I'm going to open Varsal here. Actually, I'm going to use CMD. And I'm going to do a put request. So url das x um, put and we need of course the address of the server the, cor the correct one I'm gonna name this stolen.txt and the data is going to be this file secret.txt and when I do this we go here we see we received the put request for stolen and it's successful here I have my temp and if I do a less now, I will see this stolen file. And here's what it says. This is a secret. Please subscribe. So that's all about 3W3. You'll be able to download it from this repository. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it.